Auto is an all-in-one smart sprinkler and controller that saves you time and money on lawn maintenance. In this video, we're going to show you how you can set up your device in minutes. Inside the box, you get an auto unit, a mounting bracket with wood screws for drilling to a fence, a quick start guide, and a 50-foot cable wall adapter just in case you need a boost of power. You'll need an Apple or Android smartphone, a high-quality hose, strong 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi access. You may need a drill if you're mounting the device to a fence, as well as a lock and chain if you're looking for additional security. Let's talk about choosing a location for your device. Each unit has a maximum reach of about 30 feet. Pick allocation that maximizes this reach and remember the steel bracket can be installed as a stake in the ground or mounted to a fence. If you need more coverage, multiple units can be controlled by the same account in the app. To maximize your flow rate, use a high quality hose with an interior diameter of at least 5 8 of an inch and try to keep it around 50 feet long. Remove any connectors, kinks, or bends that might limit the flow. When routing your hose, make sure you're keeping the hose out of the sun, especially in hot climates. Leaving your hose pressurized and exposed to the sun can cause the hose to burst. Make sure each device is well within range of your home's 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi signal. The app will display the Wi-Fi strength during the pairing process. To keep Auto's batteries charged, give it access to at least 3 hours of sunlight per day. Or plug it in using the provided power cable. You'll know it's charging when the status LED light glows solid red. If you want to monitor the status of your battery when using Solar Charge, check your battery history in the app. Before you pull out your drill, let's get the unit connected. If you haven't already, download the Auto Lawn app to your Android or Apple smartphone. The app will walk you through our quick account setup process. Add new device. You'll be prompted to connect to Auto's Bluetooth by activating the Wake switch. The status light will blink blue, letting you know Auto is searching for a signal. Select the device. Once connected, the status light will glow solid blue. And give your device a name. Now connect to your Wi-Fi. You'll know you're successfully connected when the status LED light blinks green. Auto will update automatically as soon as it is connected to Wi-Fi. It will glow a light blue, and you may not be able to use it for a few minutes. Now that you're all connected, make sure the device is secure and stable before starting to water. If you're using the device in the ground, push the bracket into your chosen area until the top is flush with the surface. You may need to stand on it or use a blunt object to get it in far enough. Then screw the thumb screws into the bottom and pop the device into place. If you're mounting it on the side of a house, Auto will be more secure if you first install the bracket using a drill and a level. Then screw the thumb screws over top of the bracket. Avoid installing the unit higher than 3 to 4 feet or the water stream will get too high. For additional security, lock your device to a permanent structure using a light chain and padlock. Connect the hose to your device. Fully open the faucet. Ensure all connections are hand-tight and there are no leaks. Using the Auto app, you can set precise zones to avoid wasting water on driveways or sidewalks. Each zone can be programmed with its own schedule and other properties. Add your first zone by pressing the Configure First Zone button. Give the zone a name. Select Set Zone Boundary. Stand clear of the nozzle. The app will let you decide if you want to create one of three types of zones, a spot zone, a line zone, or a polygon zone. A spot zone lets you establish static spots that auto will water. This is great for trees or filling up pools. Each spot within the zone will get watered on the same schedule. A line zone works well if you have a narrow row of hedges or garden that you'd like to water. A polygon lets you draw the edges of a large area and auto will fill it in. This is great for lawns. First, we'll show you how to set up a polygon zone. Press and hold the up and down arrow keys to move further away or closer to auto. Tap to make small adjustments. Use the curved arrow keys to turn auto's head. Once you've reached the edge of your boundary, tap the orange button to set a point. Then use the arrow key again to set another point. Continue along until you've almost finished creating your outline. 
press the close button to complete the polygon and then press save. Double check you're happy with the boundaries you've just set by going to apply manually and selecting demo zone. The demo zone mode will let you see the boundaries you've set, but don't worry, auto will put down more water during a real cycle. In the app, you can view the upcoming weather for your week and what days your auto device is going to water. Every new zone you set will automatically get a default schedule of three times per week at 6 a.m. at a water level of one and a quarter inch of water per week, taking into account local weather when using weather intelligence. Change this limit or schedule anytime from the zone overview page. Use the Apply Manually button to water on demand. The Devices Overview page will give you a bird's eye view on all activity for your device. See when zones have watered or will water next. Check your battery and Wi-Fi status and more. If you have multiple devices, you'll be able to see them all at a glance from your Devices page. If you live in an area that gets snow, you'll want to disconnect your irrigation system for the winter. At the end of the season, simply turn off the tap and gently release the hose and drain any water that's left. Put your auto in winter mode by going to Devices Overview and tapping on Settings. We hope you enjoy your new Auto Lawn Smart Device. For more information about auto, visit autolawn.com or follow us on social media.